Hey everyone, it's your buddy Crypto Profit back with another video. And today we're going to be jumping straight into AMP and talking about really what's going on with AMP as we see an 8% decrease in the last 24 hours. In the last week, a 20.29% decrease. In the last month, a 63.36% decrease. So we've talked about how this could be a definite possibility being in this kind of bearish market, seeing huge increases on AMP because of the hype built around it. And we've talked exactly about that. And now we see this kind of decrease taking place. I kind of mentioned a five to six cent range or even lower as a possibility. And that's what we're seeing now is lower than a 5% uh, or sorry, five cent range. We actually see it dropping down to lower than a four and a half cent now. And it's continuing on this kind of drop. And we see in the last 24 hours, just massive struggles across the board for many, many altcoins. Uh, AMP is definitely one of those getting hit as well. We'll talk about why that may be. As like I said, we talked about this in previous videos, talking about how we are, you know, kind of a little overvalued at that 11 to 12 cent range that we saw, you know, just earlier in the month. So earlier in the month, we actually saw, you know, 12 to cent, or I guess 12 to 11 cents. And then we saw massive declines after the hype was kind of, you know, decreasing because of Coinbase listings, as well as um, so much more that was taking place. And we're, we're going to jump into all of that, like I said. So let's jump straight into the first tweet. So this first one talks about AMP can collateralize any type of asset transfer, whether digital or physical. Today, AMP is providing the collateral for instant fraud proof transactions made using more than 25 different digital assets. So I do believe, you know, AMP has great utility. It has a great, you know, use case behind it. It has great ideas and reasons as to why it is a valuable coin. However, unfortunately, there was an overvaluation. We did see too much value in this coin, uh, you know, too much of an increase, I guess, realistically, too much hype build up. Uh, so it was overvalued in my opinion. And I gave you guys my opinion on my first AMP video. I still think AMP is a great token. I think there is great comebacks to be had. And I think there's going to be a huge recovery when that bull market part two does kick off. However, I want to talk about why, like I said, why we are seeing this decrease, when we're going to see an increase. So jumping into the first thing, we see big news. AMP is now available on Coinbase, but what is it exactly? So they talked about what AMP is and they talked about how it is available on Coinbase. And this was back in, you know, June 24th. So it's crazy to see. Uh, you know, AMP June 24th, if we take a look, um, that's when, you know, we saw some massive increases uh, right around that June 20, really a little bit before June 24th, obviously the announcement, everybody buys the hype and actually dumps the news or not the news, but the, uh, you know, the actual integrations or the actual exchanges making those things happen. So the hype is being built by right here at, uh, you know, June 12th, June 14th, we saw massive increases all the way to 12 cents. However, then, you know, the Coinbase effect that we all know and uh, you know, we all know and hate or all know and love. We saw June 15th instantly drop all the way down to, you know, five to six cents. And I mentioned that as a possibility. Uh, and then we also know that the BitMart will list AMP token as a digital collateral token that provides instant verifiable assurance for any real world application. This was for June 17th. So continuing to get that hype built up, obviously, um, you know, we did see just crazy, crazy amounts of hype built up for this token and then just dropped just like that. We have Bittrex as well, announcing a new market pair for AMP token, uh, AMP ETH, and obviously USDT AMP as well. So just huge, like I said, availability here, continuing to give availability to so many new users at the same time, building hype up for the token, hoping, uh, you know, a lot of people really just kind of hoping to make short term gains on this. We also see AMP is now available as a collateral on Roller Protocol, the stablecoin lending platform. Head over to rollerprotocol.com to borrow or lend DAI, USDC or USDT using your AMP as collateral. Read on to learn about what makes Roller special. So you can see why there was so much hype built up around, uh, you know, AMP. This was all in Ju uh, this was all in June. Sorry, not July. This is all in Ju uh, June, <laughs> as I try to say July again. Um, so it's just crazy to see all this hype build up, like I said, and then kind of shot back down. So before we jump into really, you know, what the final thing is that really put a nail in the uh, AMP token to really push it down to that five cent range, we're going to jump into BlockFi. So BlockFi is a great way to really make your money work for you. It's the future of finance. So the old way of doing things doesn't really cut it anymore. With BlockFi, you can use cryptocurrency to earn interest at up to 7.5% APY, borrow cash and buy or sell crypto. There are no hidden fees, no minimum balances, and no reason to wait. So you guys can actually jump on board. They've actually started to accept uh, new people at the top of the list for those uh, credit cards, BlockFi credit cards. So you can actually grab your place in line today. And I will have my link in the comment section as well as the description down below. So make sure to take advantage of it. And like I said, use my referral link. Um, like I said, it will be in the description down below and you'll be able to use my referral link and get up to $250 worth of Bitcoin when you sign up. So make sure to do that today because like I said, guys, 
Bitcoin is at a very all-time low right now, not an all-time low, but it's at a very, very low price point right now. If we go to the Coinbase right now and actually take a look, it's still below 32K, giving you guys a great opportunity to get that $250 worth of Bitcoin at below 32K. So let's talk a little bit about why AMP is still struggling. If we take a look at AMP's Twitter, this is one of the biggest things, obviously. Social media kind of pushes these coins and the hype around these coins. So the fact is, AMP hasn't retweeted anything or even tweeted anything since July 2nd. So we are going to continue to see AMP bleed out until we do get signed kind of some kind of social media presence, some kind of, you know, big news or announcement, some kind of uh, idea that they're working on something special or new. And that's exactly what we need right now for AMP to really kind of, you know, relive its glory days of that 11 to 12 cent range that uh, we saw it push to. So right now, like I said, July 2nd being the last time we saw anything or really any mention of AMP, we're going to jump into the amp price chart here and we take a look at the last week really we just see de decreases all across the board we saw you know five and a half cents and just slowly decreasing and deteriorating ever since then we saw a nice little push here back to five cents people thought it was undervalued probably uh seeing that increase right there and then right back down we went to you know close to about a four cent range and i think it's crazy to see amp with such great utility such a great use case continue on this decrease and decline. I think it's obvious that, you know, AMP does need to do something about it. They need to, uh, you know, start using their Twitter and start, you know, making an idea or giving people ideas of what they're working on next, what's special about AMP and why it's going to continue to grow. Uh, you know, with these exchanges, you're seeing great accessibility. However, you're also going to see great accessibility to dump the token as well. So definitely uh, an understanding that, you know, really this four to five cent range could be a great buy in spot for AMP as well as so many other altcoins. Obviously, the market struggling more than ever right now. Uh, but we also want to talk about this recent tweet. I just put this tweet out just because I was curious on what you guys are buying. If you guys would let me know in the comments or, you know, jump on my Twitter, follow me and uh, let me know as well. So I've been buying link at $15 and it feels like stealing. What are you guys accumulating out there? And we do have some comments, you know, link STMX, Tron, Digibyte. Uh, we have link and vet, we have theta and some people are saying XRP to $25. So I guess XRP as well. Um, so just a lot of coins that people are accumulating. And I think they're all great, you know, Great prices at this current price points or at these current price points if they are in the top 25, the top 50 most likely. So, um, like I said, a great opportunity to buy and uh, continue to accumulate during this dip. I do want to say realistically, you know, by the end of the bull market or the end of the year, we do see AMP pushing back to hopefully a closer to a seven to eight cent price point at the very, very least. We're going to talk specifically about where we could see, uh, you know, AMP, the token itself by the end of the year. I think realistically, you know, we are in this accumulation FUD stage still. So this does hurt AMP's, you know, price currently. And I think we do see some kind of bounce back to about a seven to eight cent range by the end of the year at the very least. I think by the end of the bull market, we do see AMP pushing closer to its all-time high. Obviously, if we take a look at the all-time high, we saw it right around that 12 cent range, 12.1 to be exact, June 15th at 8 p.m. I think realistically we see AMP pushing closer to 15 to 20 cents by the end of bull market part two. I think this is still a great category of the idea that, you know, AMP is an Ethereum token that aims to collateralize payments on the Flex network, making them instant and secure. If a BTC or ETH payment fails due to unconfirmed or long transaction times, the AMP collateral can be instead or sorry, can instead be liquidated to cover losses. And I think that's huge. Uh, the idea of really behind you know safety and security in cryptocurrency that category is continuing to grow in my opinion we're going to continue to see more tokens in that space and uh, we've seen a lot of possibilities um, you know coming into that top 25 with safety and security so i think amp will do well in the near future as well as long-term future however you know realistically we are going to have to be patient hopefully amp the actual creators themselves come up with more uh you know more incentives as to why you'd want to buy amp or purchase amp at this point in time so thank you guys again for tuning in making sure to uh, continue to support the channel as we get closer to 100k subscribers you guys are the best i'll see you guys all in the next one make sure to quickly subscribe to the channel turn notifications on and like the video